Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're here doing your February 2022 singles reading. If you're single and looking for new love, then this is the reading for you. So we're going to get right into it here and we're going to start out with your overall energy for the month ahead. We're going to start out with your current situation, current energy here. And oh, we've got two of those. We've got the hanged man and we've got the chariot. All right, let's have a look and see what what is challenging you in the month ahead. We've got the Empress, okay? So being open, uh, allowing love to come to you, advice from spirit. We've got the Magician. Remember that you are the alchemist of your own life, okay? If you're doing any kind of manifestation, it's important to allow and to uh, really harness the energies of the universe blessings headed your way. We've got Leo energy there with the strength card. So, uh, you know, we do have Venus. Okay, the Empress card is represented by Venus. Venus is currently um, in Capricorn, as is uh, Mars. Okay, so two energies in Capricorn there. And so this brings about a little bit of stability. Okay, you may be feeling a little bit more determined than ever to find love. You might be feeling as though, you know, you need to take a little bit more of a practical approach to things. Okay, you're coming back down to earth a little bit, which is a wonderful energy to see. We've got the full moon coming in in Leo. Leo energy with the strength card there uh, on February 16th. And the, this particular full moon is actually really important. I mean, the full moons are always important to complete cycles in our lives, to release old energy. But this particular one in Leo, I feel that it's, you know, it's giving people the courage to let go, to find healing, to find forgiveness in their heart, okay, and to really find your inner peace. This is also giving you the Leo energy, um, the energy of releasing control, okay? Those full moons, all about that release, but we need to release control, especially if you are, um, you know, uh, doing any sort of manifestation rituals or not, but this is also spirit reminding you that we're always manifesting things into our life. So it's a very important um, full moon to let things go. But your current energy here, we've got the hanged man and we also have the chariot coming with it. Talk about polar opposites, okay? The hanged man is typically not a movement card whatsoever other than internal and the chariot is let's get her done, okay? So this, I feel here that you're actually kind of in balance. You're in alignment, okay? I think that what you're doing here with the hanged man is you're taking a step back. You're taking a bit of a time out to think about things, to think about what you want. Perfect to harness that uh, Capricorn energy, right? Of, you know, being a little bit more practical, okay? Looking at the big picture, putting a plan in place even, Okay, before um, before roaring out here, guns a blazing with the uh, with the chariot card. So I think with the hanged man here is I think you're really looking at love. Um, and possibilities from a different perspective. You're open, you're receptive to different people, different situations, different things, okay? But I think you're kind of trying to gather your intentions together, shall we say, okay? And you're taking your time to do that. You've also been very patient, all right? So I think that, you know, in this time of a little bit of stagnation, I think you've done a lot of inner work. And you've really taken the time to think about what it is that you want. Okay, but again, you've been very patient. But the chariot card here with this Cancerian energy shows that you may be getting a little bit impatient. Probably the chariot is where we really, when everything is in alignment, when our ducks are in a row, when our spirit and our physical align, okay, when our masculine and feminine energies all align, this is when we really get that chariot moving, okay? It is a one of forward momentum. So after a period of quiet contemplation, patience, stagnation even, okay, then we're ready to go. So I feel as though you're really thinking about what's important for you. You're thinking about your next steps or you're thinking about what you want to attract into your life. And But I feel here that, you know, with the chariot, you do want to move forward and you do want to get past, um, you know, uh, certain obstacles and hurdles, okay? And, you know, you do want to get going, but at the same time, okay, you're not chasing every bright and shiny thing. You're being a little bit discerning, I think, with this particular energy. It's like, I want love and I want to get going, okay? And I'm really excited about what the future holds, but not everything is meant for me. So I feel that you're being actually rather selective 
in who or what you allow into your life there. Okay, but that chariot card, this is one of forward momentum. It is one of um, being in charge. Okay, so, you know, with that, with that energy, the chariot moves forward by your own actions, by your own drive, determination, willpower, and by you knowing what you want. And then you get the ball rolling and you get going. Okay, but the chariot brings in an element of success as well, overcoming your obstacles, being really victorious, but it's also where the stars are aligned for you and you are... Um, you know, moving towards your destined path. There's a big faded energy that's coming in there. We've got the Empress card coming in here as well. Now, normally the Empress, wonderful energy, feminine energy. And, um, you know, this is where you're open, receptive to new love, new beginnings, fresh starts. You allow the abundance to flow to you. You allow love to flow to you, but you also project love as well. Now, the Empress card is showing up in your challenge position here. So, you know, sometimes on our path to love, we do have some stops and starts, and that could certainly be where the chariot and the hanged man come into play. It could be that energy where one day you're gung-ho, you're ready to find new love, and the next day you're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's the right time. Okay, so it could be like two steps forward and one step backwards a little bit. And so that Empress card shows that on one level, yes, you are very open um, and re you're very receptive to new people, new situations, all of these things. You got a lot of love to give, that is for sure, okay? But maybe your part of the issue there is receiving it and allowing, all right? And sometimes when we get in that determined, bold energy of the chariot, we sometimes forget to allow because it is that action energy there. So that could certainly be a part of the challenge there is allowing allowing love to enter your life. Okay. And even though I do feel that you are by the looks of things so far, you're very ready. Okay. But again, sometimes it's two steps forward, one steps back. Sometimes we are gung ho and then we're like, put the brakes on a little bit. Okay. And, but there's a reason for that. Okay. Things do tend to sometimes unfold exactly as they should. Now, I also feel here with the Empress that part of the challenge, especially with the magician card coming in here is knowing what you want. And, you know, when we do have the magician that shows up, we're always constantly manifesting things into our lives, both subconsciously and consciously. And when we're making a conscious effort to manifest, we are setting intentions, we're doing some rituals, we're doing this, we're creating vision boards, we're working with the moon cycles, all these things. But when we're unconsciously manifesting, this is really, um, you know, our daily activities, right? And if you've ever met those people where everything just seems to go their way, annoying, right? And everything seems to go their way, nothing, everything just seems to work out for them. They don't really worry about anything. And the thing is, they might not realize it, but they're actually always in manifestation mode and they're always looking forward. They're always thinking about the positive. And when one door closes, they just know that something else is going to materialize um, magically in front of them, right? They're not worried about money. They're not worried about where they're going. Okay. It's a beautiful energy to be in, right? And some of them know of what they're doing. Okay. Especially if they've read the secret or, you know, they've practiced, uh, they've researched law of attraction, but sometimes it just comes naturally to them. It's just part of their nature. Okay. So, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm feeling here with this energy that sometimes you might just not necessarily know a hundred percent what you want, or there may be a little bit of self doubt that comes in there. Okay. Maybe you just, uh, sometimes get in that energy where you don't feel, um, you know, like there's love out there for you or you don't feel like, you know, maybe you're worthy of love. Everyone is worthy of love. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are, what you've been through, what mistakes you've made. We all deserve love. Okay. So I just think finding love is a challenge. Sometimes knowing what you want might be a little bit of a challenge. Okay. And just being in the energy of allowing is sometimes a little bit of a challenge. Okay. The hanged man. Yeah. Open, receptive, the chariot, hmm, a little bit more gung ho kind of energy, a little bit more go getter energy. And it's not always bad because when you do have opportunities that arise, it's important to take action. Okay. And I just think that there's certain energies here that are kind of putting the brakes on you a little bit, bringing you back down to earth and helping you be a little bit more discerning. But again, sometimes it feels like a little bit of a start and a stop in, uh, you know, in your pathway to love or even accepting love that may come towards you. But your advice from spirit, your thoughts become things. You are the alchemist, the master magician of your life. You have the power to attract. Okay. The magician attracts, the empress attracts, the chariot goes and gets. 
and the hanged man thinks about things. Okay. So, you know, think about really clearly what you want, set your intentions. Okay. And just know that your manifestations are working. Spirit says here, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, divine timing really is everything. And of course, in our quest for love or money or all of these things, we hate hearing that, right? Because it's like, oh, be patient. It's like telling a hysterical person to calm down doesn't typically work. Okay. But really, you know, this is really showing you of your true potential and your true powers to really create the life you want to attract new love into your life and to make the life that you that you are looking for. But you do need to be really clear in setting your intentions, always manifest from a place of abundance, never from a place of lack. All right. And always attach really positive emotion to it. And that might be part of what's highlighted here. The Empress does bring out those, uh, the warm fuzzies, right? Those loving emotions. And so if you are, you know, uh, setting your intentions, creating your vision board, working the, the, with the moon cycles, whatever you happen to be doing, it's very important to attach emotions and feelings to your intentions that you're setting. It actually just gives it that energetic slap in the face there that just kicks things really into high gear for you. Okay. So be mindful of your thoughts. Okay. Be mindful of your feelings as well, because you have the power to manifest anything into your life, both the good and the bad. And we only want to manifest the good things for you, right? We want the best for you here. Okay. We want great things for you, Virgo. Okay. So remember that. All right. So, you know, if you think negatively, or if you're in that negative energy, that's what you're going to attract in. And if you're trying to stay positive and open and receptive, that's your, you're going to attract all that in as well. So just be mindful. Everyone has their bad days. Everyone has their bad moments when they slip into that rabbit hole of negativity. When you do find yourself doing that, just take a deep breath, come back to center and get on with your day. Okay. Process whatever feelings or thoughts or emotions that you're having right then and there, let them go and then carry on. Okay. Your blessings headed your way is strength. This is the Leo energy. And so I feel with the moon cycles that's coming in this Leo energy, I think you are just going to really find your firm footing. You're going to really um, put the pieces together. You're going to find a little bit of healing. You're going to find your way forward. Okay. And you are going to persevere. You're going to move on. Okay. I think if you're, there's been any kind of um, lack in self-confidence in any way. Okay. I think you're really, really going to put it all back together here with the strength card and the chariot usually is one filled with self-confidence. Okay. That's how you get the chariot going. Okay. But sometimes we do get, you know, those starts and those stops, right? Sometimes we do doubt ourselves sometimes. Okay. And the strength card really just gives us patience. It brings us a little bit of a calmer energy, but it also does bring us that courage to persevere. Okay. Sometimes even if we're confident, sometimes we aren't always courageous in our path for love. Okay. So dare to try new things, dare to get yourself out there. Okay. Um, you know, dare to welcome new people and new connections into your life. Okay, so that strength card is very wonderful and it gives you even the last remnants of healing. Okay, and just shows you uh, again how powerful that you really are. All right, so let's get some more cards. Thank you very much. It's your first one flipping out of your deck. If you are enjoying this reading uh, so far, by the way, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've got monthly readings. I do uh, career readings, um, love readings, obviously. Also the moon cycles when I have a chance. And, um, you know, I also do some pick a card and some timeless readings and all those kind of things. So I like a little bit of variety, dailies and weeklies as well. So uh, anyways, let's see what else we've got for you. Excellent. Love it really is in the air. We've got cute Cupid coming out here making an appearance for you okay love is in the air for you in February and of course we do a Valentine's Day in February and that could be part of the challenge here with the Empress card it's like ugh, all these people around me are you know Valentine's Day love and romance and flowers and all these things and really with the Empress card and Cupid okay yes love is in the air you have uh really a lot of potential to attract uh new people and new new connections into your life however 
Um, if you are one of those, uh, if you do some, maybe get in the dumps a little bit about Valentine's Day, okay, the Empress reminds you to do something nice for yourself. Do a little, practice a little bit of self-love, okay? Treat yourself. Um, uh, get together with friends and family, perhaps, okay? The important people in your life, right? Um, Valentine's Day, love is in the air, but it doesn't have to be just about romance, okay? Love yourself. Love the people that you're with. Maybe go out and have some fun. Maybe treat yourself to something. Maybe cook yourself a nice room romantic dinner. Why not? Okay, go all out, you know, have a nice, uh, you know, have a nice, uh, lovely dinner with, you know, some wine or something. And hey, maybe you've got a friend that you can get together with or something like that, right? So do something nice for yourself. It doesn't all have to be about couples or anything like that. So self love is very important as well. But love is certainly in the air. Uh, obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find your happiness, okay? Sometimes we get in our own way. Get out of your head. Get out of your own way, okay? Be open and receptive, all right? Sometimes we doubt ourselves, okay? Or we get a little bit impatient, okay? So, uh, you know, certainly, um, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes we are our own worst enemy, especially on our path to love, Okay, but whatever else may be standing in your way, okay, the chariot gives you that drive and determination to find your way past your obstacles and challenges, whether they're internal or external. Okay, so, and this is reminding you of that as well. And we also have remarkable, notice everything remarkable about your relationships. Okay, the good, the bad, the ugly, the past, the present, and the future. Everything serves a purpose. Everything has a reason for happening. Okay, and you know, sometimes even when we reflect upon the past, okay, we can really highlight and pinpoint those really wonderful moments that we really liked. Okay, even if, you know, it's not necessarily that you want someone back. Okay, but sometimes when we do think about what we want out of new love and where we want to go forward, we do need to think about those past experiences. What did we like? What didn't we like? Right. And, you know, sometimes we can get caught up in a little bit of nostalgia as well and maybe think about the good old days and how things were. And, you know, the thing is, is that it's kind of... Um, Sometimes it can be a good energy to be into, right? Just to look and see how far you've come and get a greater appreciation of things and stuff. But it can also be, nostalgia can also be a little bit of a dangerous energy as well because sometimes when we get lost in nostalgia, we sometimes get stuck in the past. And we don't want to do that, okay? We want to... Um, welcome in the new. We want to think about, you know, those really, those really wonderful times from the past that did give us those warm, fuzzy feelings and when things were going right and think about, okay, this is parts that I want going forward. I'm going to ignore everything at the moment that, you know, that I didn't like about this relationship and I'm going to focus on the parts that made me feel good. Okay, and the parts that I would like to have again. So, you know, for example, um, you know, uh, traveling with your person or having stimulating conversations, um, you know, those uh, those moments of joy, of family, of uh, connection. Okay, all those things, whatever the good is. Okay, that's what you can attract in here. The magician always focus on the good, always focus on the remarkable. Okay, and we don't want to focus on the negative or things that didn't work out, okay, because we don't want to attract that, okay? We want to attract the love. We want to focus on what we want, those positive aspects of things, okay, and really bring those into our realm. So let's pull out some more cards and see what else we've got for you guys. Messages, please, for Virgo. Thank you. And we've got the world. You are done. You are ready for something new. Closing out one cycle and ready, ready, ready to welcome in new beginnings, new connections, new things. I think right now some of you are just in a pretty good place. You're thinking about the future. You're reflecting on the past. Okay. You are detached from the energy, I think. But maybe now I think there's just maybe a little bit of indecision. So you're that can sometimes be a little bit of an obstacle or a block, or perhaps sometimes when we are in that reflective energy, okay, that's when we do get a little bit of nostalgia that comes in there as well, all right? But the world card is a beautiful card of expansion, of everything in alignment for you, okay? It is one of a new cycle about to start for you, so very lovely. We've got the temperance card coming in, giving you spiritual guidance and also some healing. I'm going to pull all of these and then go a little deeper. We've got the queen of swords for you, the hermit. There's your energy, okay? I think you've done some 
really uh, deep thinking. And I think you've really done a lot of work, a lot of healing on yourself. Okay. And, uh, you know, perhaps, of course, with the hermit card there, you've also been in like kind of solitary confinement for a while as well, or at least that's what it feels like crowning you. We've got the lover's card. Very nice. Lover's card has made an appearance in a number of readings so far. So again, love is really in the air. February is all about the twos, right? January was still a little bit blah, blah okay? It was a little bit, uh, you know, um, weird energy a little bit in January, okay? People are feeling tired, drained. I think people are starting to come alive and we're starting to see things come together in February. And, you know, of course, 2022 is a six year the lover's card is card number six, but in February, it's all about the twos. Second month, we have the second day of the second month a few days ago, okay? And then, of course, February 22nd, we've got the second month, the 22nd day of 2022. So a lot of twos going on. Twos are about balance and harmony. They're also about partnerships as well, okay? So things are really starting to fall into place there. We've got the four of pentacles in your near future, Seven of Pentacles, see, you're being really patient, you're being discerning, you're taking your time, you're thinking about what you want, um, you know, you're keeping your options open maybe, okay, so, uh, but it's really important, I think the Chariot is actually playing a really important role um, in your love life, okay, that energy of moving forward, okay, because I think it's really important here with the Hanged Man coming out, with the Seven of Pentacles coming out here as well, even the Four of Pentacles, they're not movement cards whatsoever, okay, and, but I think that Chariot really does play that role, it's like we're taking a calm, practical approach to finding love, and when that time is right, I think you're not going to hesitate moving forward. So very important. Empress coming out a second time as your external energy. So again, love is really in the air. Okay, this, you know, Cupid energy. All right, it's all around you. Okay, you really can attract this and harness this energy. Beautiful. All right, we've got the five of pentacles as hopes and fears. And we've got the Ten of Wands, a total completion of a cycle. We've got the Strength card coming out again. Look at this. Outcome energy, Strength card, outcome or blessings headed your way is that Strength card. So really positive there. Three of Cups and we also have the Two of Swords. So perhaps your friends, your soul tribes, um, you know, important people in your life may actually help you make those decisions. Okay, they may even mastermind something there for you. The bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles, New Beginnings. A little bit of luck coming in here with that Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is showing you that your manifestations are working, that you can really attract something into your life that has the potential for long-term stability, security, and commitment. The Ace of Pentacles is the seed of potential, bringing you in a gift, um, a gift from spirit. Okay, after a time of difficulty or turmoil, here you go. This is your reward from the universe. Okay, this is coming in on the sidelines. This is what you're attracting into your life. That Ace of Pentacles, of course, starts out as a new energy, a new beginning, something with a lot of potential to lead you on the path to the Ten of Pentacles long-term stability, security, family, friends, you name it, okay? Solid connections, long-term commitments, all right? So, um, you know, certainly the potential here to have a fresh start and to really turn your visions, turn your manifestations into something you can see, you can touch, you can feel, and you can bring into your world, okay? So the world card, we already touched on it a little bit, closing out and completion of your old past cycles, okay? And you're ready to expand your universe. You're looking into the great wild beyond, okay? And you're ready to step through that portal and to start something new. But in the moment, I think that some of you, you're just kind of enjoying a little bit where you're at. You may be feeling a little bit impatient patient at times, okay, because the world really is, the world card really is one where you can finally settle, okay, you can settle down into your energy, you've detached, you've done all of your hard, hard work, okay, and you've done a lot of healing, you've done a lot of this, um, you know, heavy lifting, shall we say, and now you're in a good place. You're feeling good. You're feeling successful in a lot of areas. You're kind of feeling like things are all come together for you. When we get in the world energy, you can look on the past experiences, but without letting the energy affect you at all, because you've already cleared it out. The judgment card comes right before the world card. So you've already detached from that energy. And now it's like, oh, 
Oh, excellent, a sense of relief, okay? You've got everything really aligning for you and you're really sitting here in preparation to take your next step. So I think some of you are just kind of enjoying where you're at at the moment. Um, yes, you may have those days where you're feeling like, ugh, nothing's happening or maybe you're feeling a little bit impatient and things like that, but ultimately you're in a good spot, at least energetically anyway, okay? Crossing you, we've got the Temperance card, okay? So the Temperance card, yes, it can bring in certainly some patience all right and uh so you know you know some some days you're patient some days not so much okay um the temperance card is sagittarian energy that's coming in here and it usually brings about um you know some spiritual alchemy okay your spiritual self is really coming out here uh you know so part of the challenge here which is crossing you from blocking you per se from moving forward okay is perhaps a little bit of spiritual intervention your spirits, angels, and guides are like, not yet, my child. Okay, I've got something wonderful that I'm cooking up for you here. Okay, and it's just a little while longer. I know what you want. I've heard you. You've set your intentions. I am working on it. Okay, I am, you know, blending these energies together and I'm getting everything all in alignment for you, all ready for you. Temperance card, quite often one of those guardian angel kind of cards that are coming in here. Okay, so. Uh, I think Spirit's really just trying to reiterate the point that, you know, yes, you may be very patient, you may have been waiting for a while, but there's been a reason, there's been a purpose to it. You're manifesting in a soulmate, okay? You're manifesting in this wonderful new loving connections, something that can go the distance, right? It doesn't always happen instantly or overnight. So a little bit more patience um, may be required, okay? But also for some of you here, I feel that uh, there may be a little bit of imbalance somewhere, okay? And again, there's a little bit of start and stop energy that's coming through here. So perhaps there is a little bit more um, personal work or more healing that you need to do, or perhaps even just getting your thoughts in alignment here with that temperance card. Temperance really does bring in that patience, but also that healing to your situation as well. Also brings in balance, right? So we do need to be in balance with our spirit, with our yin and our yang as well. Your, your yang energy is here with that chariot card. Your yin energy of receiving with that empress card is right there too, but that's your challenge position, okay? So open, release expectations, go with the flow. Very, very important, very much a key for you. We've got the Queen of Swords here as your subconscious energy, your underlying feelings, okay? So I think here with the Queen of Swords, really, that you're really think you've been really thinking about what you what it is you want, what's important for you. You've been really honest with yourself, okay? You're speaking your truths, okay? You're um, ready to welcome in a new love here, I think, and you're getting really clear if you haven't already been, okay, on what it is that you want, okay? You're probably still a little bit guarded, especially if you've been through some challenging relationships in the past here the queen of swords is actually i love the queen of swords okay not everybody does all right but the queen of swords to me as a person as your energy would be somebody who is being a little bit logical okay who is on the quest for answers of truth of you know you're really embracing your um spiritual self your spiritual side as well the queen of swords is very wise okay um a little bit of an old soul energy for me um also is highly intuitive as well so you're really um you know you're getting your thoughts in order you're thinking really positively you're being honest with yourself you're setting intentions and i think here that you're really ready to accept and embrace new love coming in but there's still a little bit of guarded energy here. Now, sometimes that's a necessity. And, you know, sometimes that's where the Queen of Swords is misunderstood, right? It's like we've got one hand here. It's like, hey, hello, come in, my child. Okay, come in. I'm ready. I'm open. But then this scary ass looking sword there that's hanging in the air, it's like, hmm, come in, but tread lightly. Okay, so, you know, but I think this really does show that you are actually open and receptive. You're probably not um, currently... Um, wearing your heart on your sleeve necessarily in Virgo. I don't know that you really do that anyway. Okay. There may be times when you do that. Okay. Once you feel really comfortable and really secure, but I think on the outside, you probably don't really so much. Okay. And that's perfectly fine. Right. And you know, so you probably are feeling the need to just protect your energy a little bit. 
Um, you know, you probably have already put up some certain boundaries, okay? It's like, you know what you want, you know what you don't want, all of these things. And you're really getting your ducks in a row with that Queen of Swords, all right? And, you know, but this also brings in that sense of clarity, okay? Getting clear, getting everything in alignment, okay? Getting ready, okay? I feel, get this energy of getting ready, get ready, get ready, okay? So I think that Spirit really saying that here is get ready, okay? Get ready, prepare yourself, make sure you're ready and make sure you're in alignment because there is something coming in here for you. Okay. And something very exciting. We've got a lot of love that is coming in for you here. And spirit really wants to be ready or really wants to make sure that you're ready to accept these connections that are coming in. So again, that magician energy, right? You're very, very powerful. But here's where I think you've stepped into your own sense of self, your recent past. Now, energy and time is fluid. So this could still be going on today. It could be yesterday. Some of you are still you know, um, you know, getting some answers, you're still kind of clearing out some old things. Okay, but the hermit card is your is your energy here, Virgo. So I think that you've been on a personal journey. Um, you've really stepped into your own sense of self, you've been maybe even figuring out doing some soul searching, figuring out um, the deeper meaning of life, perhaps you may have actually found it. Okay, your soul's purpose. Okay, you've been really thinking about what you want in your life and of course by the same token probably what you don't want in your life but the hermit is a very important energy bringing in yes some solitary energy okay but also brings in there's a purpose there's a reason for it when you extract yourself from the world with the hermit card might not have been intentional with some pandemic energies around us okay but when you do step into hermit mode okay you step into your bat cave and you do your soul searching, you do your healing. Sometimes we need that independence. We need that alone time in order to do that, right? You can't do that if you're running all over town, town willy nilly, right? Sometimes we need to go within. And that's what that hermit energy brings in. But I feel as though that you've been um, on the quest for some knowledge, for some deeper experiences. And perhaps that's what you're putting in that lantern, right? The hermit puts that star, okay, the goals, the wishes, the dreams in that lantern to guide you, to lead you forward. So, you know, I think that you've been really figuring out what it is you want. You're getting really clear that queen of swords, okay? And, you know, you're, um, you have been on this healing journey, but I really think that you've really stepped into a sense of who you are as a person, um, as a soul, and I think you really know what you what it is you want, what it is you want, what you can do without. Okay, it's very important that we do that every once in a while. All right, as long as we don't get stuck in the hermit mode, but I don't think you're gonna. Okay, your um your crowning energy here. Okay, this is your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities, what you're thinking about, what you know, what you desire. Okay, the lovers card. All right, so this really does show a deeper spiritual connection. I think you're calling in a soulmate. You're manifesting in that true love. Okay, um, a love that is worthy of you, okay, a love that speaks to the deeper parts of you, your inner depths of your soul, okay, um, I think you're calling in this true love, this spiritual connection, and you know, um, Spirit says here, the temperance card with the lover's card, I've got this coming in for you, okay, and when the time is right, when those stars are aligned, that chariot energy shows that it's close, the uh, magician shows that it's close. It's okay. It's knocking on your doorstep. So make sure that you're open and ready to receive. The lover's card is also not just um, bringing in true love. It also brings in choices. Okay. So I think you're choosing love. Okay. You're, it's not because you need love, especially with the hermit energy. I think you're okay on your own sometimes, right? You're pretty comfortable in your own skin a lot of the times. Okay. But when you accept love into your life, I think it's a choice for you. It's not because you need it. Okay. I think it's something that enhances your life and enhances your situation. So, you know, um, you know, so I think you're making that conscious choice to welcome love in. Are you perfect every single day? No, probably not. Okay, a little bit of start and stop energy. We're all there. Don't worry about it. Okay, but the lover's card, I think you've also ascended spiritually as well. I think spirit's really been getting getting you in alignment to welcome in a powerful connection, something that you're meant to be with. Okay, something that is guided towards you, right? Part of your destiny, part of your life path, part of your journey. And if you look right in the center of your reading, we've got four major arcana coming right here, the world, temperance, hermit, the lovers. Okay, all of these energies bang smack in the middle. So I think there's been a lot of personal growth that you've been experiencing. There's been this shift of energy. 
okay? And you're really stepping into your own personal power. So super positive energy to have there. Uh, did I already tell you that was Gemini energy? Maybe. Anyways, if I didn't, I just told you again. Okay, so we do have that lover's card that's coming in there. So there's a world of possibilities um, that you're attracting into your life. A lot of love that's coming in, but this love that's good. Okay, um, your near future, the four of pentacles. Okay, now the four of pentacles is really about um, having both feet on the ground, taking a practical approach to things, perhaps putting a plan together as well. All right, this is where you're really thinking about um, coming into a sense of knowing about what you want, what you don't want. Okay, the four of pentacles can sometimes be in a little bit of protective energy. Okay, with that fourth pentacle, it's like, ah, I'm holding on really tight. And so you might be feeling a little bit of a need to protect yourself um, a little bit, okay? Um, but this is also where we can sometimes open up a little bit, okay? So I think you're really in the energy there with that four of pentacles where you are not jumping into any old connection that comes across your path. I think you're taking your time. Um, I think you're putting one foot in front of the other. I think you're really, um, you've really figured out here in your very near future, if you haven't already, I think you're figuring out what you want, what you can put up with, what you want to attract, okay? You're getting very, very clear. And you're, you know, while you might be um, open to other people and other, um, you know, other uh, connections and things. I think there's certain core values that you really are not going to let it go of. Okay. But the four of pentacles is also that energy where, okay, we've gotten to a certain point in our life and now we're ready. Um, because, you know, it really is about attracting abundance sometimes, right? It's like, I've gotten to a certain stage in my life. Now I'm ready for more. Okay. I've gotten my feet on the ground. I've got a good head on my shoulders. Okay. I've got everything in alignment, right? I'm feeling really good. And now I'm ready to attract more wonderful things into my life, okay? But there's certain things that you are not going to compromise on with that Four of Pentacles. It's like, nope, I'm holding on to this. This is really important to me. This is what I want, and I'm not going to budge on this, okay? Um, sometimes we do get that message with the Four of Pentacles that we do need to be a little bit more open and receptive because sometimes we can block our energy with that, okay? So maybe be a little bit flexible, Okay, use your discernment, use this queen of swords, okay, to your advantage. All right, but then maybe be a little bit flexible. And that's sometimes what we need to do with the, uh, with manifestation, okay, law of attraction. What I do with mine when I set my intentions is I say, you know, thank you for sending me this, ace of pentacles, or something better. What that does is that actually allows the universe to say, okay, great, this is what Vicky wants. Excellent, okay, wonderful, thank you. Oh, she's already grateful. Oh, she's already attached positive emotions. Oh my goodness, okay, yes, it's already here. But oh, wait, she left the door open for us to improve upon what she's manifesting in. Awesome, okay, and that really shows the universe that you're flexible, okay, okay. It's like, this is my minimum, but you're welcome to send me more. Okay, I won't turn it down. All right, so um, the seven of pentacles here. This is you, your current attitude, and also advice. Okay, so I think you really are taking your time. The, the seven of pentacles, some of you might be feeling a little bit unfulfilled. Sometimes that is unfulfilled success with this energy, okay? But I think you're really taking your time. You're examining your options. You're perhaps putting a plan in place. You're thinking about what's important to you, what isn't important to you, okay? I think that if you're... Um, getting yourself out there, uh, perhaps you're um, with the world card there, perhaps putting yourself out on the internet a little bit, okay, and uh, the queen of swords, um, you know, using your technological advances there, okay, communication is really important, um, but I think that you are not jumping on the bandwagon by any stretch of the imagination, I think you're taking your time, um, you know, you're being very discerning in this energy here. But spirit wants to make sure that you're not just focused on a specific type of person or a specific type of connection. Because if you look in this card here, and this is where the advice comes in, okay, this person here, he's looking at this bush and he's like, okay, I've, you know, this is where I've, I've committed to in the present, in the past. These are the things that I treasure, that I hold dear. Okay, but do I need to do something different? Do I need to make a change? Am I on the right track? And the thing is, though, he's only looking at this bush. 
there is this pentacle laying here on the ground. So make sure that you're not pigeonholing yourself in any specific kind of area. And again, we do have this openness that is required of you, okay? Because there may be something that you're missing, right? Just like this four of pentacles here, by pigeonholing yourself, sometimes we miss out on something that actually has a lot of value, a lot of potential for us, just because it doesn't look, meet our exact uh, specifications, okay? So you might need to just keep a little bit of an open mind there, okay? Just so that you don't miss anything. And it's true that whatever is meant for us will not pass us by, okay? But sometimes it takes a while to come back around again. And we wanna catch something good the first time around, right? You've been waiting long enough. Okay, your external influences, the energy that's around you, the Empress, a lot of love is in the air for you guys. Okay, I think this energy that surrounds you, I think is going to give you this big old boost. I think there's love coming in on the way. Um, I think it's something that you want, something that you desire, and something that is uh, really fulfilling for you. Okay, the Empress really is that, uh, I won't go into it too, too much because we've already talked about the Empress. Okay, but I think there's uh, just a lot of love and a lot of connections that are coming in. You're attracting all of these things into your life. I think if you do go online dating or anything, um, I think you're probably going to have to like fend people off a little bit. I think your inbox is going to be so full that you're going to be like, oh man, I don't know what to choose. Okay, uh, so you might, that's where the, your discernment may certainly come in there. Okay, but the Empress as um, being in your external influence here can also represent a person in your life. And in the upright here, which is what this is, the Empress card could represent a loving friend, perhaps a parental figure of some sort. This can be someone who can really help you along your journey. They may have some advice. Um, you know, oh, there it was. I'm like, where did I see an energy of your friends helping you out? It's up here. Okay. Um, so I think that you may have actually have a friend that can really help you out. Maybe you got a friend that wants to set you up or something like that. Okay. So they may have some, um, you know, some really good, uh, really good people in mind for you. You never know. You just never know what they may have in store for you. So let's see, let's see what else we've got here in your external, out external environment. We have something unexpected coming in. We've got a gift. And let's see, we also have, ooh, that's very, very lovely. So I think the universe has something very much in store for you, okay? Um, <laughs> this one is unexpected money. And in a love reading, this is unexpected improvements, abundance, something coming in here that you don't expect. 17 is the gift Okay, a gift coming in here for you, something that you, again, don't expect. I think there's just a lot of things that are flowing towards you that are very, very, very positive. Okay, and romance coming in here. His thoughts represents love, romance. I think someone's thinking about you. Someone's got you on their mind. Some of you, you might actually know who your next person is. You might actually already have someone in your sights. Okay, but, um, you know, someone that's already maybe thinking of you, they may come in here, uh, catch you a little bit off guard. Okay, and again, and with the Empress card here, okay, they've got a lot of love to give, okay, but I also think that perhaps here um, with his thoughts coming in with the gift and something unexpected, I think that perhaps one of your friends may set you up on a blind date and this could certainly be very, very um, beneficial for you, shall we say, okay, a lot of love and romance and again something, uh, there's a lot of love that this person would have to offer, a lot of love that they have to give that kind of matches you. All right, but I also think that, you know, perhaps it may not be a blind date that one of your friends or family members or someone uh, that really cares about you uh, has for you. It could just be that you meet somebody unexpectedly if you go out with your friends or your family or some social engagements here. I think that uh, something really positive really comes in here for you. I'm loving this. Uh, I'm loving this energy. This is actually really quite exciting. Okay, I've got to tell you. Okay, very exciting. If this was my love reading, if I got these three 
cards in my love reading, I'd be like, oh yeah, baby, I'm about to be swept off my feet. Okay, yes, they're in German. So anyways, uh, you want to really have an adventure with cards, get a German book. Uh, and uh, yeah, anyways, I'm translating a German book. Good Lord. If you want to learn a new language, translate a book. Anyways, those particular cards are in German. So anyways, um, so very lovely. Your hopes and your fears. Oh, okay. I think you're, uh, I think on some level, there's a little bit of fear here that you're not going to get what you're looking for. Okay. This is a lack mentality. Very, very important not to embrace when we've got that magician energy. Spirit really wants to highlight this for you okay your fears may sometimes be blocking you and that's where the temperance card is bringing you in here to uplift your spirits uplift your energy have you look at things a little bit more positively okay um because we never want to manifest from lack and we don't want to get into this energy okay so i would say here flip the script a little bit okay change your way of thinking if you are sometimes a little bit down i think for the most part you're actually pretty positive but there are those moments okay where you do just need to be mindful okay remember that you have the ability here to shift your focus. These five pentacles that are in the window represent promises, opportunities, okay? Another way forward, an alternate approach at things, okay? Also show blessings, okay? And sometimes we ignore our blessings because we're not looking at it. We're not looking in the right spot, okay? And there's something that you may miss here, right? This pentacle um, between this guy's legs, right? Is he missing that, okay? So take advantage of opportunities, of invitations, of all of these things, okay? Remember to focus on what you want and where you want to be, okay? Without obsessing, without blocking the energy, right? We don't like that five of pentacles whatsoever, okay? Not the best energy. So don't get wrapped up in that fear, okay? Sometimes we're, we worry about loss, okay? It's like, what if I put myself out there and it doesn't work out? What if I put out myself out there and I fall head over heels in love and it doesn't come back, okay? All of those things. And you know what? It is part of life, right? You don't know until you try. You don't know until you put yourself out there, all right? You can be patient and you can really kind of play the odds a little bit maybe, okay? Or you can be a little bit selective, okay? But we don't want to block anything here. All right, now here we go, We here we go, we've got your overall outcome. Now we do have the 10 of wands, okay? Now the 10 of wands is actually one of a uh, successful completion of a journey, a completion of a cycle, okay? It's been long, it's been difficult, okay? You've put one foot in front of the other at some, at times it has been very much one-sided, okay? You've been a long, hard slog, okay? Through the mud, through the weeds, okay? And this is showing that this cycle is done. You're at an end, you're ready for something new and that's very much reciprocated with that world card. So I think you're really gonna have an opportunity here to relieve some stress and some burdens, okay? The strength card is making a second appearance for you. Okay, so pay attention to those symbols and synchronicities, all right? Um, and the strength card, again, gives you that courage to persevere, to move forward, to put one foot in front of the other, to be patient, okay? But also the courage to get yourself out there and meet new people, welcome new connections. The strength card could certainly represent a Leo person coming into your midst as well. So we do have Gemini. We've got Leo coming in there, but it's not limited to that whatsoever. This can show that you do have a strong connection coming in here, something that, you know, is really powerful and, but also something that brings a lot of kindness and compassion, but a really strong bond, a strong connection. Okay. And you deserve it after going through all of your, everything that you've been going through. We've got the three of, uh, the three of cups as well, which is our social card, right? Which brings in celebration, joy, something uplifting, something to celebrate here. Okay. So I think some of you are really ra raising a glass, clinking your glass, celebrating the fact that you've brought in somebody new that you've made this new connection okay and you know it's like yes oh my goodness this is great this is awesome you put a big smile on your face but this is also being that social aspect okay um i think here that if you've been kind of in hermit mode for a while okay you haven't necessarily put yourself out there perhaps or maybe your friends your social cir circle environment i think you might they may really play a role in your life now it could be that one of your friends 
and sets you up with somebody. But it could also just be that while you're out having a good time, you're not really worried about love when you're not focused on something. Sometimes when that's exactly when it comes in. Okay. And certainly something that would give you that cause for celebration. We do have your intuition showing you the way. Okay. We've got some uh, important decisions to make. We already see that with the lover's card. Okay. But the uh, two of swords can represent certainly that you may have a couple of different choices to make. Mm -hmm. Maybe more than one connection, possibly. Um, you know, and trust your intuition, whatever it is you decide, especially if you've got some um, new connection or maybe one of your friends says, hey, let's go do this, or hey, I've got this person for you. Okay, uh, you might need to make some decisions, but just trust your intuition and you will not go astray, okay? You will definitely not go astray, all right? So what are you gonna decide? What are you gonna choose? To keep on going it alone, or are you gonna choose love and connections, okay? Uh, the choice really is yours, all right? Yours for the taking. So I'm gonna leave that there for you guys, okay? I'm gonna close out your reading. One last bit of thank you, okay, um, advice. <laughs> and let's see what we've got here for you, Virgo. We've got two coming out here. We've got breathe. Ah, oh, take a load off, take a load off, okay? Breathe, connect, okay? In those times when you're feeling a little bit down or you're feeling like you're struggling, just uh, take that deep breath. This is a card of introspection, of calm, of peace, of meditation, finding your inner peace, letting things go, being in the flow of the universe, uh, universe okay? Okay. The universe really does have your back. Okay. And you know, sometimes we need to just remember that. Okay. But this certainly does bring in that inner peace, a little bit of healing energy as well. And it also does bring in new partnerships. Card number 29, twos are about those partnerships, those connections, the balance, the harmony. Nines are of course about completion, but nine is also Virgo energy. Okay. But you put those together and we have a number 11. 11 does certainly represent present new beginnings okay new beginnings new connection new people new everything so breathe release anything from the old anything five of pentacles energy ew okay and uh, replace it with the loving warm uh, energy that you have flowing within you temperance card shows your deep connection with spirit here as well and we have treasure island oh yeah baby another nine look at that hmm interesting okay look up oh, look up these nines that's for sure okay but treasure island oh my god there's something so wonderful headed towards you this is a time of plenty this is a time of abundance this is a time of great connections okay again welcoming all this new the empress love connections abundance uh all of this wonderful energy i think that the world is your oyster things are opening up for you okay and i think there's just some wonderful things coming Coming your way treasure is yours okay this is a time for you to let your inner light shine to let people see the treasure that you are Virgo okay but also this all this wonderful possibilities are really flowing towards you right now okay the world really is your oyster so a lot of abundance that flows your way people connections love you name it Okay, gotta love it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated for you. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, a fantastic month ahead, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.